Hello and welcome to Breezy Chatter. Today I'm going to be talking about the bold and the beautiful, but first and foremost, thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. Your subscription is highly appreciated and I hope everyone is having a happy holiday season. So it looks like Thomas has been kicked out of Forrester Creations. The Forrester Board of Hypocrites all got together and told Thomas that he is no longer welcome at Forrester Creations. We have Eric telling Thomas that he can't even stand to look at him because he's so disappointed in what he's done to Brooke. And of course, we know that Eric is in bed with Donna, so there's no way that Eric was going to try to give Thomas some grace or show him any type of forgiveness when he is very much in love with the Logans, all three of them. And then we have Brooke, of course, we know she has wanted Thomas out of the way, out of her sight for years now. We all know that she's not going to object to Thomas being ousted from Forrester Creation. Hope told Thomas that she did believe in him at one point. She wishes that she had listened to her husband and listened to her mom when they were trying to tell her that Thomas cannot be trusted. And funnily enough, they had Carter there he also said that he thought Thomas was changing his life for the better. He was doing great with the designs. He also wanted to know if Thomas had done anything that could affect hope for the future. And it's funny, at first I'm like, why is Carter there? He has no business there. But I know he is their attorney, so he wants to make sure there's nothing that they need to be worried about legally. Of course, Thomas defends himself the best that he can by saying he's so sorry by saying that he never meant to hurt Brooke he would never hurt Hope he would never hurt Douglas he also talked about how hard he's worked for Hope for the future and he would never do anything to jeopardize Hope's collection and he was hoping for some forgiveness but you could sort of see that everyone's mind was made up and Rich told him in so many words that he's not going to forgive or forget what he's done. Writers did not disappoint because for those who have been watching for all these years, you kind of knew this was going to happen. I think I've even said it a week or so ago that Thomas is going to get kicked out of Forrester and Thomas is probably going to be ousted out of the Forrester mansion. Because it's always been quite clear that where the Logans are concerned, Eric Forrester and Rich Forrester have no spine, have no backbone, have no sense of family when it comes to being with those women. What I find interesting is that while Thomas continues to make mistakes, it's just so much easier to write him off. It's so much easier to cast him aside. It's so much easier for them to turn their backs on the likes of a Thomas Forrester. Meanwhile, you have Brooke, you have Ridge, you have Eric, you have all these people doing some disgusting things to others on the show, even Carter. <laughs> and they all get grace. They all get forgiveness. They all get another chance to make another mistake. You know, I think it's high time that the Foresters have some competition. And I hope that competition comes in the form of Thomas Forrester. I hope Thomas is able to create his own company. He's very talented design-wise. He doesn't have to do like the Spectras and steal and sneak into Forrester and steal designs from Zende. Uh, he can absolutely create designs of his own. Designs worthy of competition for Forrester Creations. So I hope that's something that can happen. We know that Sally, when she was on the show, she tried to start her own design company and also compete against the Foresters. But we know Dollar Bill, he, uh, he put an end to all of Sally's hopes and dreams. So it would be great if Thomas can rebuild himself, build a brand of his own and give the Foresters some competition. So we'll see what the writers do with this because there's nowhere else for Thomas to go but up from here. I mean, it, it, he can't get any lower, or can he? We'll have to wait and see. I also want to ask you guys what you thought about Hope when she left the boardroom. She stood up and walked towards Thomas, got in his face a little bit, and then turned around and left. What was that about? Was she teasing him? Was she taunting him in a way? Does anyone have any thoughts on that? scene. I thought that was so weird. I thought she was going to slap him 
or kiss him. One or the other. I said, this is, <laughs> I said, this is insane. And then she just turned around and walked out. So please, please uh, share your thoughts in the comments. Um, I would just love to hear what you guys thought about Hope's exit from the boardroom. And of course, we know that Sheila is on the loose and on the run. But we all know that Sheila, she's not the kind that likes to run away. She likes to face her problems head on. So where is she headed? To Finn and Steffi's. I just knew Sheila was going to try to steal Hayes. But I don't think that's in the cards because Hayes is with Grandma Lee. And we have Kelly with her father. So Steffi and Finn are home alone doing what they do best. And Sheila barges in there. And that's when we have the cliffhanger for today. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what it is that Sheila wants from Finn and Steffi. And if she really thinks that they're going to forgive anything that she's done to them, she is crazier than I thought. And that is my commentary. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you for your time. Until next time, ta-ta.